Meatloaf, a multi-platinum recording artist, is best known for the rock opera, Bad Out of Hell. He has also appeared in cult classics like Fight Club and the Rocky Horror Picture Show. With his 1977 album Bad Out of Hell, which included the hits, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, and, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, Meatloaf achieved gold and later platinum status. Meatloaf has played supporting roles in movies like Wayne's World, Marvin Lee Day, better known as Meatloaf, was born in Dallas, Texas, on September 27, 1947. Meatloaf, it's unclear how he got the nickname, had a challenging upbringing as the son of police officer Orvis Day and his wife, Wilma. His father was a notorious drinker, and Wilma frequently left her son in her mother's care as a result of his binges. But Meatloaf's ambition was unaffected by these trying times. He eventually enrolled in North Texas State University after high school. Meatloaf left Texas in school in 1967 for a new life in Los Angeles, disobeying his draft notice, he'd purposefully gained 60 pounds in an unsuccessful attempt to fail his physical. There, he started his first band, Meatloaf Soul, and found work as a bouncer. The band disbanded after going through several lineup changes and name changes. More success was found in the theater, where Meatloaf was cast in the upcoming production of Hair. He eventually made it to Broadway thanks to his run in the play, which helped the young performer establish some significant name recognition. Following that, Meatloaf was accepted into the Rocky Horror Picture Show stage production for the roles of Eddie and Dr. Scott after a successful audition. Meatloaf Co. starred in the 1975 motion picture adaptation of the television series alongside Susan Sarandon, Tim Curry, and Barry Bostwick. Everyone was shocked when the movie unexpectedly became a huge hit and went on to sell more than $112 million worth of tickets over the course of the next several decades. Meat Loaf returned to the studio to start recording what would eventually become his landmark album, the rock opera Bat Out of Hell, around the same time he was filming the Rocky Horror Picture Show, 1977. Meat Loaf created an album that blended heartache, two out of three ain't bad, and teenage sexuality with the help of legendary rocker Todd Rundgren as producer and songwriter Jim Steinman as collaborator, Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Since then, the album has sold more than 34 million copies worldwide, turning Meatloaf into a multi-platinum celebrity. But failure followed success. Meatloaf and Steinman fell out after the writer complained that he wasn't given enough credit for the album's success. After breaking his leg during a performance in Ottawa, Canada, Meatloaf continued to perform in a wheelchair. Steinman took the initiative to create his own album, Bad For Good, 1981. Meatloaf's drug habit was prompted by his increasingly difficult circumstances. Meatloaf's second album, Dead Ringer, 1981, was a failure and exacerbated his issues. Meatloaf declared bankruptcy in 1983 due to poor money management, lawsuits, including one brought by Steinman, and lawsuits. Meatloaf continued to release music for the next few years, with albums like Bad Attitude, 1985, and Blind Before I Stop, 1986, receiving varying reviews. The tireless singer, however, kept going on tour. Meatloaf turned things around in 1993 with the massively successful Bat Out of Hell 2, the result of a new collaboration with Steinman. With, I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that, as its lead single, the album went on to sell more than 15 million copies. Following were more tours and albums, including Bat Out of Hell 3, 2006. Additionally, Meatloaf once more displayed his acting prowess by making appearances in Wayne's World, 1992, and Fight Club, 1999. His 11th studio album, Hang Cool Teddy Bear, was recorded in 2010, and Hell in a Handbasket was released the following year. The singer intends to release his upcoming album Brave and Crazy in September 2016, working once more with Steinman. Meatloaf experienced a health scare in 2003 when he passed out on stage in London. Later, he was identified by doctors as having Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, 
which results in an irregular heartbeat. Meatloaf fell to the ground once more on stage in June 2016, this time in Edmonton, Canada, during a performance. The singer had collapsed due to dehydration, but is now recovering well, according to his spokesman. On January 20, 2022, Meatloaf passed away at the age of 74. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.